In this video, we will talk about the Lish Nihan syndrome. This video is a high yield series video for USMLE step 1. So in Lish Nihan syndrome is a rare excellent disorder which is due to the mutation of AGPRT1 gene on X chromosome. So AGPRT1 gene is responsible for expressing a very important protein which is a AGPRT enzyme. It is hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. This enzyme is important for making purines which are the building blocks for nucleic acids like DNA and RNA. Now this disorder is an X-linked recessive disorder, right? So males are more susceptible of contracting this disease. Females are mostly carriers. In very rare situations, females get also affected. Now let's understand the biology behind the Lish-Nihan syndrome. Now when DNA or RNA are degraded, they form pyrimidines and purines. Now this Today's discussion will be about purines. Now this purines that is adenine and guanine get broken down by a multi-step pathway into hypoxanthine and guanine. Now this hypoxanthine and guanine is again utilized or rather recycled by one enzyme known as AGPRT. And this pathway of recycling hypoxanthine and guanine to form purines again is known as the purine salvage pathway. Right? Now, if there isn't some error with the AGPRT gene, then what's going to happen that this purine salvage pathway will not work. In that situation, this hypoxanthine and guanine will be repurposed to form uric acid and there will be increase in the amount of uric acid in the body tissues. Now, let's understand the pathology of Lish-Nihan syndrome. Now this increased amount of uric acid formed in the tissues due to faulty purine salvage pathway will come into blood and will cause hyperuricemia that is increased uric acid in the blood. Now this increased amount of circulating uric acid will get deposited in the joints as uric acid crystals and will form gout. Now this uric acid can go to brain can deposit as crystals and cause uric acid toxicity leading to psychiatric manifestations like aggression, self-mutilation. Now this uric acid can get excreted by kidney as urate crystals and can we can get to see red orange crystals coming out with urine. Most commonly a mother of the child will complain to you that I can see a red orange sand in the diaper of my baby. And finally, by some unknown mechanism, the uric acid also causes muscle dystonia or tense muscles. The hyperuricemia also causes faulty vitamin B12 utilization leading to megaloblastic anemia. Now let's come to the clinical presentations of Lish-Nihan syndrome. So the main or diagnostic clinical feature is your nail biting, head banging and self mutilating conditions. They also bite their own lips. Now all the, apart from all these conditions, there will be joint pains due to gout. There will be reddish discoloration of urine. There will be tense muscles. And also these wounds that they cause by self mutilation can get infected and can cause superficial skin infections. Now let's come to the treatment of Lishnihan syndrome. It's obvious that you cannot correct the underlying genetic abnormality. But how we can treat the condition? See, the main problem is that due to faulty working of the AGPRT, hypoxanthine and guanine is not getting converted into purine. Rather, they are getting converted into uric acid. Now, purine also gets formed from something known as de novo synthesis. So even after the malfunctioning of AGPRT, there is no such deficiency of purine. So we don't have to address that. We have to address this increase in uric acid in the blood. Now, hypoxanthine and guanine is converted into uric acid by one enzyme known as xanthine oxidase. We can block this xanthine oxidase enzyme to reduce the amount of uric acid production. And drugs such as allopurinol and febuxostat exactly does the same. These are the drugs we use in treating gout. 
that is hyperuricemic conditions. So similarly in Lishnihan syndrome, we can also use these drugs to decrease the uric acid production and by doing so, we can control all the manifestations starting from gout, psychiatric manifestations, reddish discoloration of urine, tense muscles and so on. I hope you have understood the concept of Lishnihan syndrome in this video. To get notes and high quality flashcards, you can follow us on our Facebook page and our Instagram at Animated Biology with Arpan. The link will be in the description box below. We need your support to continue to make high quality educational content for free. You can do that by using the super thanks icon which is present on the bottom right corner of this video and you can pay using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. You can also scan the QR code on the screen or can support us on our Patreon page. If you wish to connect, use the following links given in the description box and for medicine related content, follow Nerd Medic on YouTube. The link will be in the description box below. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.